That's fine. Hey, um, comment on that? Sorry? Like, there might be demand for real-world assets on the blockchain, but to me that makes absolutely no sense uh, because having real-world assets on the blockchain actually does nothing because those real-world assets could be confiscated by the government. So if the New York District, if the New York, uh, district Attorney so uh, wins, the, wins the case, they can just call the bank and collect all of the underlying dollars of Tether. So I, don't, I see zero use case, really, for real-world assets that have the ability to be confiscated of putting them on the blockchain. It just creates more inefficiency. Uh, I agree to that. I'll, I'll give you a real example. So in China, real estate transactions are controlled by the government, buy, sell. Like all the rest, I'm sure. Like what? Like all the rest of the domains. Yeah, so, so for, imagine if you have real estate on the blockchain and you own the private key to that unit or to that allocation of real estate on the blockchain. But you having the private keys to it is meaningless because, uh, because the actual real estate could be confiscated. It could be forbidden to be transferred to someone else. So in the end, you know, when you use blockchain private keys to represent external assets, you still have that trust issue. And if you can't solve that trust issue, then it's meaningless. That's why I like Bitcoin because Bitcoin itself is not based on anything else. It's not backed by anything yeah, else. I would like to